Hey, welcome to my review of the Smith & Wesson MMP9 Shield Plus. I just got this gun this week. Just bought it. Got it yesterday. Bought it on a Tuesday. Got it on a Saturday. Had to wait the three days. Let me give you my experience of buying it. My experience with it so far. And my limited time having it. Why I got it. And why I think you should get it. Because I definitely think that you should get this. But stay tuned. Listen to why I got it and what happened to me. And then I'll show you the gun. What it looks like. My experience with it thus far. For full disclosure, I'm brand new to firearm ownership. So I looked on YouTube for reviews of the Smith & Wesson m and 9 Shield Plus before I went and purchased it. And then I saw the reviews. The reviews were done mostly by instructors. People who have handled firearms for a long time but I didn't really see anything from someone brand new to firearms that had any reviews out there, so that's why I made this video. So, let's start with how I got this firearm in the first place, but actually, let me just tell you, I'm very aware of the safety rules involving firearms, never pointing at anything you're not willing to destroy, always be aware of things within the line of sight of your target or beyond your target, always treat firearms as if they were loaded, and keep your trigger finger outside the guard and off the trigger until ready to fire. I say all that to say that I will be handling this firearm a little loose just because, you know, there's no magazine, there's nothing in the chamber. I've already checked it. I took the slide back and then slide locked it, as you can see. Slide lock. And then the safety is also on. This gun also comes with a manual safety. Let me tell you how I actually went and purchased this. So I went to the gun store, my nearest gun store, which is actually a pretty decent gun store. And I went in there for a Glock 19. And the dude asked me, hey, uh, what are you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for um, a handgun. He's like, for what purpose? I'm like, okay, I want a gun for self-defense purposes to be able to conceal carry, to run down on my ops and to be able to learn more about firearms in general. And he said, uh, did you have anything specific in mind? And I told him the Glock 19, that's what I want. I wanted the Glock 19, but I want you to show me all the other handguns as well. And so he showed me all the other handguns. He showed me the Glocks, he showed me the Canics, he showed me the Smith & Wessons. And I was like, all right, Glock 19. I fill out the form 4473, which is a form that you have to fill out when you're purchasing a firearm. We get everything straightened out. We head up to the counter and there's this customer up there. He's like, you got a Glock 19? I was like, yeah, I'm purchasing a Glock 19. And then he goes, I don't know about that. And I was like, what's it to you? He said, I just sold my Glock 19. I'm like, is that right? He said, yeah. I was like, why? He said, because I got kids and there's no safety on the Glock 19. And then I thought about it for a second. My very first firearm no safety on it. I didn't think about that when we were going over all the different firearms that the sales associate has spent 30 minutes explaining to me. I did not think about the safety on it. And I thought, let's go back so I can see what other firearms at least have a safety on them. And he showed me the Smith & Wessons. And then the Smith & Wesson m p 9 Shield Plus had a safety on it. And I felt it in my hand, like so. I pushed the slide back and everything, just felt the grip in my hand and the grip felt pretty good. So I went with the MMP9 Shield and checked out. This gun costs in the 500s range. So total what I spent on this gun, around 600 and something dollars because I, I bought some ammo and plus tax. So back to the reasons for purchasing this firearm. I was interested in self-defense, right? An event that an armed burglar does come into my house without a gun, I really have no way to protect myself nor my family. So at least now with the Smith & Wesson m p 9 Shield Plus, I can put an armed burglar in the ground should they decide to come in my crib. And then I also wanted something small enough to conceal carry. So just in case I am out with my family and an armed robber does decide to come up on us or during the course of a mass shooting, uh, as someone who's carrying concealed, I'll have the ability to defend myself, my family, and others. And then the third reason that I gave is just to run down on my ops to commit some crimes. And then last but not least, I was interested in learning more about firearms. And the more that I got into learning about firearms, the more I realized I actually knew nothing about firearms until I actually purchased a gun. And I think it actually took me going out to purchase a firearm to research firearms to actually learn and become more educated about firearm ownership as well as the laws 
and everything else involved with firearms, especially in this country. I'm military, so in the state of Florida, all you have to do is go to the DMV so you can get your concealed carry. But what I did was I took a four hour concealed carry course just because I wanted to know. I, I was interested in actually learning this information. So that's what I did yesterday. And then after taking that four hour course, you know, I went to the range, let off 10 shots, and the instructor said, okay, you're good to go. And then I stayed at the range a little longer because I was really interested in actually shooting more because the first shot that I took with this thing, startling. It wasn't anything that I was used to. I hadn't shot a gun in six years up until this point yesterday. And so shooting it initially, it was a jolt, it was startling. But then the more I did it, the more I realized, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I can continue to shoot more and more and this isn't a big deal. And with this gun in particular, it felt pretty good to shoot. You know, loud bang, it's a gun, a lot, very loud bang. But you know, I had ear protection on, had eye protection on for when the shells pop out after you fire. And I understand why you need that eye protection because those shells will hit. And going to the range does a few things. It improves my accuracy, it improves my comfortability. So I'll be going to the range at least probably weekly or every two weeks, something like that. Probably as much as I go golfing or something like that. You know, just kind of another hobby added to that. Just so I can become more comfortable with holding a firearm and operating it. And when I actually am in a situation where I have to run down on my cops, I can put them on t-shirts. Now enough about that, let me show you the actual gun. Okay, so here's the box that he came in. Here's the Smith & Wesson MP9 Shield Plus. Nothing in the chamber. No magazine. Nothing in there, All right? Uh, I have the slide lock on right now, but let me unlock that. So this is what it looks like. And the safety, I'll just keep that on, but this is what it looks like when the safety's off. Safety off. Safety on. Okay. And then obviously the trigger. And then here is the, here's the magazine release button. I'll put an empty magazine. This is the 10 round magazine that came with it. So it has a number right here, 10. I'll put that in it, no, no rounds. Okay, so that's in there and the magazine release button. Just press it, it comes out. Do it one more time. So, last round comes out and I'll just keep that out. This is what it looks like to slide it back. Okay, so there's grooves here that you can use. And then whenever I wanna lock the slide, I press up on this while this goes back. So that there's a point where it goes back where it just locks after you press this up. Okay, there you go. Yeah. But yeah, this is really all you need to know. Great first firearm. Highly recommend it. Model here, and then P9 Shield Plus. Great first firearm, feels great in my hands. I have relatively big hands, so it feels good in my hands. I don't have any fear of getting bit by the slide. Overall, can't complain too much. What else did it come with? So I got the safety on, and then the slide lock on. So it came with a 10 round magazine and then it came with 13 round magazine there's a difference this one is a little bigger a little thicker it came with the lock and then it also came with a manual which i just finished reading and that's about it and then this thing i bought some ammo and I bought some hollow points. Yeah. That's the MP9 Shield Plus. Okay, I'm back. So now that you've seen the Smith & Wesson MP9 Shield Plus, great handgun, great striker fire pistol. I highly recommend that you get this as a first gun. For one, 
you know, you can conceal carry it, small enough to conceal carry, has a manual safety on it, which I know there are gonna be differing opinions on it, but I personally think as a first handgun, this was a decent decision for me. I know it doesn't matter in, you know, actual battle, having that extra split second to turn the manual safety on, but it's just something that I cared about. And we're gonna have differing opinions on that. Everyone's gonna think something slightly different. Some people are gonna say, yes, manual safety, good. Some people are gonna say, oh, it's a firearm. What do you need a manual safety for? It's just, that's personal preference. Personally, I think first firearm, I think I need a safety on it. A good concealed carry, a good first gun, manual safety on it. It's allowed me to learn more about firearms. Very simple, easy to use firearm. And I don't think I'll have any issues with sliding down on my ops with this MP9 Shield Plus. And after going to the range just once, I think I'm Steph Curry with the pistol, so. And then for me and my family's safety, if we're put in a deadly situation where deadly force is necessary, I just hope that the person's bulletproof or that they know how to duck really well. At the end of the day, it comes down to don't make me teach you a lesson with the Smith & Wesson. And for my ops, you better be real good at ducking down for you know what it's like to sleep underground. Like, I'm not talking Ninja Turtles when these shells start flipping. I got these hollows, so if the ops blitz me, they get two points off safety. I mean, I wouldn't do it if I were you. You'd be catching bullets like Odell Beckham. I mean, the way that I'm aiming at the range is gonna be all headshots, and I'm not talking about a yearbook. Anyways, that was all fun and games. Make sure you get yourself the Smith & Wesson MP9 Shield Plus. I think it's an excellent first firearm. It's my first firearm. Get it for yourself. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content from me. And uh, comment in the comment section if you like the video. Comment in the comment section if you wanna know anything else about this particular firearm. But that is it for me. Until next time, peace.